What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker here, the 90 States Hedgehog here with our Week 5 Sunset Team matchup here. We are going against Elvis Waroff. If we win this game, it's a pretty good position for us to play. If we lose this game, it's kind of a little bit of a hit or fire or nothing like that, but you never know. But if you guys are excited, leave a like, haven't already, subscribe if you are new. Join the Phil Shocker crew today because you'll be feeling the king of the crew. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and challenge Walrus here. Or Rav. Well, I don't know why I called him Walrus. I'm sorry about that. This is a kind of annoying team for us to face right here. A lot of bulk. He's a team. Again, I don't really expect the Bulu. If he brings Bulu, then we're just going to com immediately confirm that it is going to be uh, Grassy Seed Hitmon Lee. But again, with my team, I really don't think you bring Bulu. And he doesn't. So he does bring the main bulk of his team. Uh, no Gligar, surprisingly. So, wait. Yeah, he didn't bring Gligar. That's actually shock. So, did bring Moltres. Moltres had a decent matchup. So, I really just need to get a... I really just need to get a na nasty plot off, and I can go into town. Huh. My tilted towers look incredibly good this game now. Leo pfft, just demolishes everything. So what am I thinking here? I think he is going to lead off potentially with sticky webs. Or he's going to try to lead off with rocks. I'm going to leave with my ACDC here. So he goes into the Incineroar. How much is this going to do Incineroar here? Incineroar. Well, let's say if he's a set, Swords Dance set. If he's a Swords Dance set, we do over 50% to him. Knockoff's going to hurt. How much is a knockoff going to do to my blast toys? How much is this going to do to my Mega Gallade? Should only do 31 to 37. I do have Drain Punch, so I'm going to go right into my Gallade here. Is this probably going to knock off here? You fake out! Oh! Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Um. A raw Drain Punch has a good chance to kill him here. So I'm just going for the Drain Punch right here. So he's going to go into the Vika Volt. I want to get some recovery back. So Vika Volt. Let's say Offensive Pivot. I set up an SD in front of him. I should be able to knock him out. So I'm going to SD in front of him here. He could set up the Sticky Webs. As he's going to do that. So this knockoff should do 87 to 103. It should kill. Unless he's extremely bulky. Yup, he's extremely bulky. Do I do the boots. What I can do here now is I can Drain Punch. Knock out the Vikavolt, which is great. In comes Hitmon Lee. I'm just going to do Drain Punch. You forgot, in her focus, I can't be flinched. This actually, I think this might be a sweep. Goes with the play rough. Does unfortunately knock me out. I'm going to my Tilted Towers here. I want to totemize up here. Oh, that's beautiful. I 
I click Meteor Beam. That drops. Nice. And I really wish I had... Actually... We're gonna hit Suicune right now. He's max HP. With Celesteela. At plus two. Air Slash should 2A KO him here. Yep. He's gonna Scald. Fix up the burn. Slightly unfortunate. This Air Slash should kill him. Air Slash. I got the flinch. Yeah, I should have figured he was gonna do that. A plus two, a flamethrower should kill. Let's see, we did 57%. At plus two, should this kill Mega Wall Wow? Out of curiosity. Oh, yeah, it does. Alright, Sweet Coon's gone. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna say GG right now, but it is really looking good for us here. I think he's most likely going to sucker punch us here. Do I want to lose Diff? Yeah, I don't mind losing Diff. Because now what I'm going to do here is... How much is a sucker punch going to do to me here? Player up into sucker punch does knock me out. I'm just going to click Thunderbolt here. Knock out the Maul while. Now I just need to make a really careful play right here. Can Moltres knock me out? Actually, I don't even know if I'm faster than Galar Moltres. Am I? Yes, I am. And he does have a chance to knock me out with... Musical Con. If I go plus two... that into Aurorus he gets the plus one Aurora should live any one hit so I'm gonna Thunderbolt oh shit yeah I'm just gonna sack here I don't want to but I go Aurorus here if his mod is plus one, doesn't kill me, and I go for the blizzard. Just gonna go for the freeze dry, and GG. Woo! We pick up the win right there. Oh, that was close right there, man. Oh, I could have maybe gone for the 5-0 or 4-0 victory, but it was one of those things where I was a little concerned. I definitely think he really misplayed a lot right there. He really misplayed letting his Hitmonlee go down. I think he just completely forgot about inner focus being a thing, so yeah. Him not bringing that Gligar was kind of huge. I mean, I can kind of see why he didn't bring Gligar, but still, I felt like Gligar was really important for him. Um, I really kind of wish I had led off with maybe Blastoise, because then I could have just Shell Smashed right in front of him and then just started breaking, potentially. But it is what it is. But yeah, GG's to Walrus. We move now to a 4 and 1. Really good stuff right there. Getting Aurorus another KO. I think Aurorus now has like 4 or 5 KOs and just spam with like 2 periods right here. Periods of times we've been using it, which is relatively good. Uh, Thunder has got to pick up a KO. Got to pick up at least a KO there. 
Mega Gallade was able to get at least two kills. Celestila, unfortunately, got the one. If I had made the proper predictions with the Meteor Beams, I would have probably been able to maybe win with Celestila. If not, definitely guaranteed win with... Uh, yeah, so if I definitely had went for the the nasty plot like I did right there, I would have won the game 4-0, but hey, I didn't expect I probably was expecting Wakam Bear or Nasty Plot or something like that, but who knows, you know? But yeah, GG's to uh, all this. We Like I said, we do move 4-1, and one, and uh, that's really, really good for us right there. Really good positioning for playoffs, especially, I think, believe it is 11-week season, I think. I'll double-check, but if it's 11 weeks, uh, if we pick up three more wins, we clinch playoffs 100%. If we if it's ten weeks, if we just clinch technically one two more games, we win the game. So yeah, but GG's to Walrus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. Join the Phil Shocker crew today because you'd be feeling with the king of the crew. But until next time, guys, I'm Phil Shocker and I'm Dog. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.